Hello and welcome to another beautiful day here in Bangkok, Thailand. Currently I'm at Central World, one of Bangkok's largest shopping centers. It has hundreds of stores, restaurants, you name it. A lot of uh, activities such as this over here. There's an ice skating rink, really nice. So if you want to ice skate in Bangkok here, is a place to be. Then across from me is this little place called Kitty World. It has some arcade games. So today we're just going to investigate the mall. See another beautiful place here in Bangkok. Yeah, I'm super excited to show you another place. It has a lot of video games over here. So if you want to have fun with your friends or family, they got you covered. Oh, this I used to play a lot when I was little. Really cool mall. This mall has seven levels to it. And yeah, I'm just happy to show you it. We even have Thomas the Train Engine. Come on, guys. What kind of mall is not a mall without Thomas the Train? <laughs> Uh, they also have this place over here called Play Square, which they have laser tag too. So it's a great game if you never played laser tag. It's like you have a gun and you shoot each other with lasers. Very cool, very fun thing to do with your friends. And that being said, let's go and investigate this mall. But first, the thing I need to do first is grab some cash because uh, in Thailand, any 50% of the shops like accept only cash. So I want to show you actually an uh, ATM machine that if you ever do come to Thailand and want to grab money from the ATM, this is one of the cheapest ATM machines to go to. So let's go there. All right, before I go to the ATM machine, which is on the fourth floor, I just want to show you like all the different levels they have over here. Give you a better idea of like how gigantic this mall is. So it has seven floors. On the top floor is Food World, where that's where you're going to find like a bunch of like food places, food eateries. And then let me show you like at the bottom level over here we have Lululemon which is pretty famous like for females. Uh, famous for their sweatpants. We have a Nike store over here. And we have other like popular shopping outlets. I'm looking around right now. Trying to see some, oh they have Uniqlo over here which is famous as well. And then across from us is just right where the ice skating rink was which is on the second floor of the small too. And then I think over there on our right is Sephora. So yeah, a lot of things to uh, discover over here. All right, let's go on the fourth floor and see the ATM machine real quick. Right now we have reached the fourth floor of the mall. This is where you're gonna find a lot of banks and other stuff as well. But I just wanna show you like they have Siam Commercial Bank, this bank over here. A lot of these I believe are local banks and a lot of ATM machines too. So you have a lot of choices of where to pull out money. But if you are ever in Thailand, and you want to have the cheapest rate to pull out money, it's Aeon. So this ATM machine over here, which is on the fourth floor of Central World Mall here in Bangkok, it's only going to cost you 150 baht to withdraw money because unfortunately, withdrawing money here in Thailand, the ATM machines always do charge a surcharge fee. So this has a standard rate of 150 baht. Here, let me show you the machine real quick. So we're going to go with English. And then it says, please enter your pin. Okay, let me just enter my pin real quick. And then these are the amounts you can withdraw. So at these, at this bank, you can only withdraw through thousands. So I'm gonna hit other. Then I'm gonna put uh, cash in, uh, current account. And then I'm going to put the X amount of bot I need. I'm not gonna show you guys how much I need. If I did that, and I'm gonna press continue. And then, one second, you'll be charged a fee of 150. You look at that, very reasonable. The other ones were like 200, 250 before. This is the most like convenient one. Okay, it's going to take some money out. Please take your cash and card and slip. All right, we got that. So I just pulled out the money and this is how a thousand baht looks like. So when you go to the ATM machine, be prepared that you're going to have to take out thousands of bots. Some ATM machines or even most ATM machines don't have small bills. And this is equivalent to $27 USD, $27.64. You can see there's people on the money, which is uh, actually the president or the king of Thailand. Yeah. All right. Well, let's investigate some more. As we are exploring this mall, there's also something I want to show you. So this area over here, right in front of us, is like a chill area. So you'd come sit down over here if you're, you know, kind of tired from shopping and just eating or whatnot. It's an area. They have multiple areas like this in the mall. It's just one area. But something that's cool about it is they have these charger port areas too. So look at this. 
it has different it has like an area for like if you have different charging things like depending on what country you're from they have you covered and also there's a usb outlet too something just to show you like this couple here they're just showing over here which i i just sat down for a bit too because sometimes it can be tiring so currently we are across from central world and let me just show you how it is obviously you saw so much traffic there's actually a metro that's leaving over there so we have the metro station over there and then you know check this out so this is all central mall there's just like like from there it starts and then it goes all the way like that so i was like if i'm going to show you the inside first i have to show you the outside but first i like to go inside and then go outside yeah guys so you probably have seen me record this area before but I just want to show you guys, there's some like uh, gods over here, Hindu gods, also Buddhist gods too. There's Ganesh, which is like the elephant god too, and this is the other god over here. Thailand, they're predominantly uh, Buddhist, but then also there's some Muslims too. So once we get inside of the mall, I want to show you, there's some like prayer areas inside of the mall. So if you're a Muslim, and when it comes to Bangkok, they have you covered. And then here is Big C. This is like a very famous place. It's like a big grocery store that a lot of people will come here to buy a lot of like local Thai foods and goods for a great price and send it back to their country. I know there's a lot of like Asian people from a lot of other countries, especially Indonesians that would love to come here and shop here. They do have a halal food section too. So if you're only into eating halal, they have you covered. And yeah, there's a bus stop over here. here let's go towards back to the mall. It's amazing, right? And, oh, and by the way, Central World is one of the world's largest malls. Keep that in mind. I think it goes to uh, 11th place. You search online by, just saw Wikipedia. It said it's like the 11th largest mall in the world. So it's gigantic. And I love to show you guys big things because I think it's cool just to show you guys magnific magnificent things. Because there are many malls in this area. This is the mall block of Bangkok. If you already come to Bangkok, you want to shop, Come over here, they have a wholesale market just right over there. Retail places, grocery store that has a lot of food, items, so you know where to come here. And the reason why I'm always like trying to show you guys this area, it's because it's, it's just a popping area in Bangkok. All right, check it out. So these are the two Gangnams at nighttime. This is a good Gangnam wing and this is the bad guy over here. This is like the most iconic Gangnam wing you're gonna find. If you don't know what Gangnam wing is, it's just a famous Japanese anime that like people like basically go inside of these robots and fight everyone and just go crazy oh that's a spider-man 2 advertisement too so yeah look at these robots they're so detailed you know what's crazy is when i was in japan they had uh well actually they do i believe still have in tokyo they have a full-size gundam wing so like this over here is gigantic they have one in japan maybe it's like three times the size no i'd say double the size this is already gigantic. Thank you. All right, and that's that. We went to the mall security. So in front of us is G-Shock. G-Shock is part of Casio, one of my favorite watch brands. Which my watch just broke, unfortunately. Too bad. So now we are like in the center bottom level of the mall. But something I want to show you also the mall, they do have Starbucks reserve. They have a lot of like Western foods too. So like, here, let me show you like, this is like a little, man, it's so delicious, these pastries. Expensive, but delicious. 245 for this little pastry over here. That's around like $7 USD. So $1 USD equals around 36 bots. You can see the exact uh, exchange rate currently. Cause you know, exchange rate is also always changing, but right now it's one dollar. One dollar USD equals 36 of their money. So you just divide by 36. Croissants, three dollars. Mm. Yeah, about croissant all money, about three, four dollars. I don't know why when I was younger, croissants were so much cheaper, but I guess it got really popular and then they just ro like risen the prices. All right, now something I do want to show you guys tell her about us oh well actually yes i want to stop here real quick something that's interesting in asia you may have seen in my taiwan videos they have a lot of these booths that like a lot of people just like to take photos inside and just like with their couples and stuff 
and some booth places, and it's kind of like a photo booth. They like the old school photos, but some of these uh, photo places, they even have like cosplay. You put on like a wig, put on some masks or whatever, yeah. Jigsaw Villa. It's like they're getting ready for Halloween. So Halloween is gonna happen in a few weeks, depending when you watch this, or maybe already passed. Tivana. This is Starbucks Reserve, guys. So it's not a normal Starbucks. Usually Starbucks Reserve has like something special. And something I wanna show you, like you have the R, so it's a reserve. Man, I really smell the coffee inside of here. So I wanna show you every Starbucks around the world will have like their own special Starbucks stuff. And there are some music playing right now, uh, so I can't show you too much inside of here, but I just wanna show you like some of the cups they have over here. All right, let's get outside. How oh, they even have like little graduation teddy bears. It's cute. This is Starbucks Reserve. This is like a higher end Starbucks and I believe cold brew. Some of these Starbucks even sell alcohol too. That's something you're not gonna see everywhere, but yeah, Starbucks Reserve. All right, so let's go outside of the Starbucks. Back in the main mall. Now let's uh, explore some more. I think I'm gonna take you right now to the seventh floor because that's where the food court is and then there's also cinema so we can see how much like movie tickets are like price because i love to see movies and i'm sure you do too so maybe yeah let's just walk around the like first floor area a little bit just so you have an idea of like how the mall is there's not too many like really cool interesting decorations like i went to this other mall in my previous video called terminal 21 every floor was themed a different country like one was like Paris themed, like France themed, another one was like Italian themed, Rome, Turkey, Istanbul. But this mall is just like a normal mall. They have a lot of shops that are selling iPhone cases over here because iPhone 15 just came out. And there is an Apple store too. So I saw the first level here on Central World Mall. They have the restrooms over here and then they also have a prayer room. Because as I said, there's a lot of Muslims here in Thailand. So in a lot of the shopping centers, a lot of the just like the public areas, you're going to find a lot of prayer rooms, which are pretty nice. Even Bangkok has quite a few masjids, believe it or not. So Bangkok is a Muslim-friendly place. So here's a bathroom area. And then also they have like a, a sorry, they have a vending machine. It was the ATM machine, but yeah, this is the vending machine real quick. They have, so you get chips for like 22 baht, which is less than a dollar. Do you remember one dollar USD equals 36 baht? Milk for like, actually some cheap stuff water cola for 20 baht so less than a dollar most of these things inside of this vending machine but let's go inside of here this is the muslim prayer room real quick prayer room they have certain prayer room time service hours over here i'll just go inside real quick Shh, be quiet so this is the female area i believe and this is the male area let me see i saw i just came into this place and it showed Look, there's a place to make wudu. So if, before you enter the prayer area, you should take off your shoes. I believe there's nobody here. Yeah, seems pretty silent. So this is a place to like make your wash before like Muslims pray. They have to like wash their body. They have to wash like hands, their feet, and some other body parts. You could just see how online, how they make wudu. And also there's some prayer rugs over here. Look at this baby over here. This is a little prayer room. They have two prayer rooms, one for the ladies, one for the men. It's small, but it does a job. I think it'd feel like 10 people inside. They're all praying at the same time. Like this, they even have a little like cubby cabinets to like store, I guess, your bags and stuff. I don't know if you could lock it, maybe you can. It has a lock over here, but I don't know. I mean, you have to ask information for the lock, but there's a camera too. And this is the female, area. yeah. This is the male area. And then you can see the female area because it has like the scarf. Okay, but I don't know if there's any ladies inside, so. Let's get out of this area, but really cool, isn't it? All right, now let's go to the seventh floor and check out some food and check out the cinema. Welcome to the last level of this mall. It's pretty nice, I like it. We're pretty much in the center area. The reason why I like it, as you can see, there's a lot of greenery over here, so there's a lot of plants. It's nice, it gives you like natural kind of flavor over here. And yeah, let's just explore this area. So check this out, this is the bottom. Isn't this gigantic? Come on. In my hometown, we just have like a one level mall. Okay, let's see what kind of foods they have over here. A lot of variety too. A lot of sweets too. So they have donuts, basic donuts over here. I'm not quite sure. And then I saw over here, 
They have some like ice cream place. Let's see how much is a donut over here. Boston cream, 53 bots, less than two dollars. White ghost, so they have some theme for Halloween. Okay. Thai spicy hot pot. Ooh, okay, that's cool. Hot pot is pretty famous food that originated from China, but a lot of people from all over the world like to eat hot pot. It's like you put like food inside of a middle of the uh, table and you like cook it while cook it in front of the table and like in front of you. So I believe this they have like some like reddish things over here. So this might be like the Chinese themed area. Let's walk around it a little bit. Okay, they have some Japanese food here too. Prime burger. Ooh. So if you only eat halal, here, let me just show you like the, oh look at this, London burger, cheese, onions, fried. It's cool, they have like each burger for different place themed. So it starts at, yeah, well I guess they're all 295 bucks, which is around like, let me see, like, around like seven, eight dollars, it's not that expensive. Comes with french fries, waffle fries, mixed fries, okay. Monday through Friday, promotion schedule, okay, so I think on the weekend it might be more expensive. I'm not sure if this is halal, so if you only halal, I'm not sure. But they do, I think, have some vegetarian options, also halal options. I'm not really sure if you're a vegan, if they have some vegan options. But yeah, it just... Cafe and pancakes, look at this. Ooh, the hell looks like the Japanese pancakes. Baking time, 20 to 30 minutes. Wow, so you're gonna have to wait 20 to 30 minutes. Look, at, look how fluffy those pancakes. Man, I, I love pancakes. Look at that. Premium to go Oreo, man. If I was a crazy eater, I could get so fat. Man, there's so many different food options. So over here, oh, here's another chill place that you could like sit down. It's really cool, actually. I love how like some of these malls here in Bangkok, also like some places in Bangkok, I noticed they have just like these chill areas. In some areas, you have to take off your shoes and just relax. I like it. Really, they really know how to relax here in Thailand. Okay. So I think you have an idea, oh, there's KFC over there. So you have an idea of like this area over here. Now let me go to the movie theater that's on this level and just show you what movies are playing right now and like how much are movie tickets if you ever decide to come here. So guys, before I go to the cinema, honestly, these burgers look delicious. I may have to go back later in this video, but something I wanna show you guys, I was saying, is it halal, not halal? They have a little halal sign over here. And I asked one of the workers, she said, yeah. So, oh. Oh, they even have halloumi salad, coleslaw. Yeah, just to let you know, because those burgers do look really delicious. So yeah, some of these fooderies are gonna be halal, but I can't guarantee it. You just have to search for yourself. Cause there's too many options here. Like, come on guys, like, look at this. One, two, I don't know, there's a bazillion. You can count for yourself. They also do have, uh, where's the cinema? All right, well, let's go to the cinema. They also do have a grocery store here. I guess we can go through that as well. But yeah, let's find the cinema. Well, this is the cinema right over here. But look across from us, that's Food World. So we're still on the same level. Where we were just at was just right over there. So go to Central World, go to Food World. Yeah. Okay, so this is the cinema area. And also that food hall too. And that's where the grocery store should be straight ahead. I came here a few months ago, but honestly, I can't quite remember everything. But let's just see, like, express ticketing, how much it is. How much are the ticket prices? What do they have? The Hunger Games. Okay, it's all new. Hopeless. Cobweb. Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, that has uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, let's see. Get tickets. Click on it. Booking QR code, booking code, don't have that. So you can order online. Let me see just uh, all movies. Let's see all movies real quick. Jeez, how do I even do this? All show times, all movies. Okay, there we go. Secret Kingdom. So they have a lot of Western movies. Some movies for kids. Uh, oh, Doraemon. Okay, that's a Japanese one. Some also some robot movie. You guys can see the creator, the yeah saw x oppenheimer so mostly it's like western movies seems like there's a thai movie over here but yeah it seems like uh mostly it's western movies 
Say for example, we want to go to Hunger Games today, this time, non-membership skip, uh, say we want to sit over here, next, ticket cannot be changed or refund, okay, total amount for a normal ticket price is going to be 120 bots, there's like $3, guys, that's amazing, but I think they have different like seat choices, like premium and non-premium, so how are we going to do this, like, let's go back, let's see if we're going to go for like the premium, see, just see how much it is. Okay, so there's the screen in front of us. I think this is the premium seats. That's 150, so there's 120, 150 baht. Wow, so reasonable. But it's at 120 on, well, that's weird, I think it already passed the movie time. Okay, that's kind of strange. Because today, it, oh, sorry, today. No more, okay, no more Hunger Games. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Okay, we'll just go back, but yeah, that's uh, Ticket prices, very cheap, right? 120, 150 baht. Three, it's like three, five dollars. In America, it's like triple the price, at least. Or if you're in America right now, let me know how much are the movie ticket prices for standard uh, cinema, Food World. So let's go walk around Food World real quick. Show you some dine-in options. As you can see, it's really crowded, and this is a weekday on a Tuesday, Tuesday evening. That's something which I love about Asia. It's like every day you go outside during the day or during the night, you're gonna find uh, people just outside. So it's always lively, especially in big cities. Showing you some prices, also what food options are happening over here. Mm. Okay, Hong Kong style noodles, this old stuff with like pork bowls, spicy dipping sauce. So here looks like a food cafeteria. You might have to purchase a food card before you buy everything. Halal option place. Got some chicken, some cheese roti, beef masayam. See the prices over here. Salmon, biryani. Okay, let's uh, continue on. We have some fresh juices. So. A thousand liters for 349, that's pretty big. 450, I'd probably kill it right now. Probably drink that all in one gulp. 159, which is about uh, $4 USD. We have one and there's like, all these are in, uh, actually that one looks like it's in plastic, but these look like they're in glass. 79, because I think it's better to drink from glass and not plastic. Are you with me? Because, uh, Plastic is not good. There's a lot of contaminants in plastic, unfortunately, and we drink, we eat from a lot of plastic stuff, unfortunately, nowadays. Nibong, chicken biryani, sweet basil to go. Some of the prices, pork sausage with basil and rice. Show you, look at this. Boiling the vegetables. So now we are in the shopping center, or like the grocery store, which is connected to the food court. So where you get all the meats and stuff. James Butcher. Okay, so they have Australian beef, 2,900 baht for one kg of beef. So they do have a lot of foreign beefs too. Oh, they even have like domestic too as well. But I think this store is more of like a higher price store, like more of a fancier store. Heinz ketchup, 176 baht, which is like $5. A lot of different types of meats over here, a lot of hot dogs. Processed meats here too. Look at this place. Oh, Ferro Shea. How much is this collection? 689 baht, so it's like $14, $15 for this. Man, when I was little, I could literally eat this whole box. I don't know, whenever I had relatives coming over from overseas or like, I don't know. They'd come, they'd always bring these boxes. A lot of memories with Ferro Rocher. Probably not the healthiest, but definitely a lot of memories. And then they have Cadbury over here for one of these big chocolate bars. Look at this. 570 uh, calories, but how many grams are we looking at? 110 grams of Cadbury for 
100 bahts like around two dollars sixty cents butter cookies we have oatmeal over here for like about two dollars for this like can of oatmeal yeah guys you know, I actually heard recently that oatmeal is actually not healthy. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but yeah. Uh, a lot of biscuits over here. But uh, let's just walk around a little bit more. VAT, a VAT refund. So if you're, for, if you're a tourist and you spend a certain amount, you can have some discounts too. Some tortillas. Pickled mustard. What? I never heard of pickled mustard in my life. What is that? Oh, it's some vegetable and some pickled mustard. I do love mustard. It's probably going to be really sour. Got protein drinks over here for 50 baht. So it's like uh, less than $2. So you get three protein drinks. Wait, I don't, that doesn't make any sense. It actually does. One is for 50, two are for three. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're going to save a little bit. So protein drinks for 28 grams of protein. 50 baht, which is... Let's do the calculations in my head. Let's say like $1.60 USD. Every time I say dollar something and I put USD because there's a lot of dollars all over the world. Australian dollars, Canadian dollars. Uh, I don't know whatever dollars you're from, but yeah, there's a lot of do Taiwanese dollars. So yeah. Ooh, they have durian. Look at these durian. Spiky fruit, very delicious. And I did try it out first time in my life in Malaysia. Shout out to Malaysia. So yeah. How much is that? I'm not really sure. 561 baht? It can't be that expensive. Oh, actually, maybe it is. 561. This is 425. Wow, okay. Durian in Thailand is kind of expensive. Malaysia's cheaper. No, it can't be that expensive. I don't even know. Oh, actually, maybe it is. Maybe this is... I can't read Thai, but maybe this is per kg. Kind of expensive, to be honest. But they really peeled it for you and everything. But yeah. Blueberries, I love blueberries, one pack for $140. Which is not that expensive, it's like around like $3.50. How are we doing on time, guys? A lot of Halloween, candies, Haribo, mm, love my Haribo. Usually they actually are imported from, I think originally from Germany, but they imported it a lot from, uh, from Turkey. I know, but a lot of the horrible things will like have like halal on them. Look at this. I don't know how much they celebrate Halloween in uh, in Thailand, but yeah. Okay, so it's time for me to sign off. I think I had a great time showing you around the mall. I'm getting a little bit tired right now, so I think this is the best time to say goodbye. Uh, this mall is beautiful. One of the largest malls in Bangkok. I believe it ranks number two. So if you do come to Bangkok, please come to this mall. It's beautiful. As you see, it has a grocery store, has cinema, has security guard right over here, have food world, it has a lot of things to see and explore. So yeah, I'm just getting tired, honestly. So if you want to see more videos around Bangkok or in, around Thailand, please let me know what you would love to see. As always, please smash the like button and subscribe. If you want to see more videos around the world, click somewhere, somewhere on the screen. See you later. I'm getting tired. Yeah. Peace. Love you. Catch you on the next one.